I'll go through a bit of the physical setup process for sensory percussion. Um, so our system is comprised of these sensors and our software, but it relies on an audio interface to uh, both power our sensors. They're phantom powered. They're just like micro phantom powered microphones. Um, so any standard audio interface that provides phantom power um, will work to power our sensors. Um, and the interface also is used to send a digital audio stream to our software. Um, so it's just like using a standard interface with Pro Tools or Ableton. Um, so our software gets the audio stream from the interface and does all it does. And um, when we ship, it'll have a built-in sampler and built-in synths and audio effects. Um, and you can route the audio back out through the interface or through the headphone jack on your computer, however you want. Um, if you're playing live on stage, you would just route it through the audio interface and send and give this to the sound person. Um, if you're just playing at home, uh, you could just plug the headphones in here or directly into your laptop. Um, but right now, I'm using our software to send uh, MIDI over a bus to Ableton. So Ableton is handling all the audio I.O., um, well, all the audio output, um, and uh, is getting MIDI input from our software. <clears throat> so, uh, um, so this system is hybrid acoustic and electric. So it relies on acoustic objects to control electronic sound. So that acoustic sound is always going to be present. Um, I've, I've used damped pads that are quieter than real drums, and that works fine. That works great, actually. Um, but this, these here are all just normal drums, and so when you hit them, you're going to hear them. And that's just part of, um, part of the system. So if you're used to playing with triggers, you're used to hearing the acoustic and the electric. Um, so on a, uh, when I've played the live shows, um, I've done it both where I use headphones in order to listen to the electronics or put a PA right next to me and blasted it so that I could hear the electronics. Um, and maybe if you're not used to playing hybrid setups, that might be a little bit of a thing to get used to. But once you hear all the things that you can do with electronic sounds, it's really, it kind of really, uh, it's an exciting feeling to, to, to realize all the sound that you contr can control through your playing. So it's designed to use on stage. Um, the sensors are designed to only pick up sounds from the drum itself. So we have a, the head sensor here, listens to the vibrations on the drum head, and a rim sensor here listens to only vibrations on the rim. And so um, they're mixed on board. It's phantom power, two preamps inside that down mix to mono. Um, and they're, it's designed to not listen to any ambient sound. So if I clap, or there's a PA next to me, or there's a sub, or whatever it is that's in the room, um, this is designed to not hear that, um, only to listen to what the, the vibrations that the drum is actually producing. Um, so it works well on live stage. I've used it um, on very big stages with giant sound systems, playing some experimental house music and playing on rock shows, and it works quite well um, in the presence of very, very loud environments.